What's your idea of a fun time? I'm guessing the idea in your head does not look like the picture you see. This photograph was of an opium den in Singapore, 1941. During the 1800s in Singapore, the opium trade was one of the most lucrative businesses in the country, despite the obvious social downside, such as increased crime, addiction, and health problems. Under these circumstances, opium dens were built around the country. These were Atap houses, a traditional house in Singapore that was named after the Atap palm, which was the material mostly used in the construction of the house, or two-story brick structures that were generally built in highly populated urban areas where most of the trades were occurring. When a person entered an opium den, they could buy from the clerk or owner who was mostly Chinese. To get an image of what it was like, a 19th century nomad in Singapore described seeing a man inebriated with opium as someone whose arms and legs hung down as if they did not belong to him. He went on to say, the effect of excess in opium is more like idiocy than ordinary intoxication. It steals away the brain like drink. Opium was not monopolized by the poor in Singapore. However, as the elites partook, consumed the drug as well. With the help of servants, while inside a private room decorated with exotic woods, of course. Because of this, unsurprisingly, opium-induced illness and addiction became one of the social ills in Singapore between the 19th century and early 20th century. Despite the elite's participation in the drug, the most highly affected sector by opium's negative consequences were the poor who did labor jobs. In the later years, movement to completely extinguish the trade was afoot, such as the establishment of the Singapore Anti-Opium Society in 1907. The group shared stories of opium addicts where some sold their houses and children just so they could gain more money to buy opium. Unsurprisingly, the colonial government was opposed to this because it was such a lucrative business at the time. However, by November 10, 1943, during the Japanese occupation of Singapore, opium smoking was completely banned. The drug's effects were terrible, and looking back now, it seems strange that something so addictive was allowed for public consumption then. If you want more addicting videos like these, please subscribe to the channel because we'll be rolling out more in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching.